all right guys welcome to another trading school with joshua ofomaja um so today we're going to be looking at the best way to set your stop loss trust me when i'm saying the best way i mean the best way i've been trading forex for like for years now i've seen a lot of ways you can do stop loss and all that but this way i'm going to show you today is my favorite and trust me it has been working very fine for me it it takes into account what is most important stay with us and i'll show you so what one, one one of the things we need to consider when setting stop loss is volatility so we're going to looking at be looking at it in the chat um pay attention so this is something uh that's not supposed to be difficult but a lot of people find it quite confusing but stay with us so as i give you this um intro simple explanation so volatility is basically the the movement or the average movement of whatever asset you are looking at over time up or down on average how does that instrument react uh, maybe on the daily or, or every day every week every month what's the over a certain period uh, so that way you will know what to expect right so that way you know what to expect so the first thing we want to set our stop loss we must consider is volatility so when we, to us to calculate volatility there's an indicator i'm going to show you that i've been using for like years now that a lot of people do not pay attention to and that indicator is called the the atr indicator so the atr is basically uh, an acronym for average true range so the average true range indicator basically calculates an um, uh, the average pips or point movement of an asset over uh, any time frame you are looking at in terms of if the period you want to consider like 14 the, the normal default is 14 but you can set it to fit whatever you want so personally I like to use 15 because 15 I think it covers like 3 weeks worth of data because we have like 5 trading days in a week for the forex market so when we get our uh, stop loss from using our average true range uh, in terms of pips then we, we know we can use that to calculate the stop loss so when we get the volatility sorry from the average true range you can use the volatility to calculate your what stop loss so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to give you a free calculator you would have i'm using uh for myself uh, i'm going to give it out to you also so this calculator normally i would give uh, the full version to our PMI student and our paid uh, students but you today you're going to get this part of the, the, the sheet that I'm going to give you so I use the ATR to calculate my stop loss then that stop loss will not help me to calculate my position size how much should I buy or I'm based on how much I want to risk on the account and all that so yeah so let's go to to the charts and see some so this is the average to range indicator so i've set mine to 15 period by the way let me make this uh, a bit bigger uh, let's make this bigger i don't know why it's not happening uh, all right so let's make the line a bit um yeah thicker or whatever let's make the line thicker yeah so so the, you can see that over years in December 2020, the 15-day the average to range was so high. So if you are trading GBP as at this time, you probably should be buying um, in lower volume compared to today, which the volatility has pretty much reduced over time. So although we can see say it's still it's not high but compared to 2020 that's high so as of today right now the 15 I, by the way i recommend 15 days like i said 15 day atro is about um 97 pips so you can see it here this zero point i don't know if i can zoom if i make any difference no it doesn't but so 0 0.097 that's the 15 day TRO, so that's what we need. That we just need that number. So, okay, welcome to my custom calculator. 
this is something I use uh, when I try to when I try to take trades. Um, so I'm going to show you something. The only uh, numbers you can touch here are the ones that are on blue. So in case you want to use this one, fine. Uh, there, there, will, there will be a link in the description below for you to download it uh, of this video. So the first thing you need to check that is still just note that you can only feel the blue uh, links so the blue uh, cells do not touch the the black ones if not you spoil the formula I've used yet so by the way you can only use this for um, basic forex uh, like uh, euro USD GBP, USD GBP euro GBP or this type of the ones that have uh, zero or um, like f five to four decimals so that's what you can use it for this here is not set up to calculate for JPY. I have another one for that, but for this example, I want to make so that's why I'm using it. So, if you want more advanced stuff from us, uh, you can join our program on Suavely Markets. Just go suavelymarkets.com. It's better to get the PMI, but if you can't get the ROTC course, it's valid. And if you see any other course there, do your best to get it. Okay. So first things first, I look for my account. So let's assume this account by using on this server STM account. Uh, by the way, this is an EverXCM account. EverXCM gives you uh, access to very low spreads with, for when it comes to your trading. Okay. So I get 0 0.0097. So what I'll do uh, for this, I want to use two times ATRO for my stop loss. So I use it two times ATRO. My stop loss, I'll go for okay, two times eight hours, and the eight hour is 0 0.0097. So 0 0.0097 that just means 97 pips. Okay, so 97. So what I'll just do is 97. Uh, but if you have a five decimal account, so because I'm using five decimal to calculate this account, so I'll just give it nine. Seven zero. So when I feel this, you see it will give me a recommended lot lot size. But there is also something we need to feel. So I'm trading what? Uh, GBP USD. So what I need now is uh, the the quote currency is US dollar. So this is going to be one. So if it's uh. AUD I will use 0 0.72 why because I want to calculate how much one dollar is what an AUD not how much one AUD is what in dollars so that's what you the exchange rate you are going to be putting here yeah? so yeah we we'll have okay how much do, do we want to risk on the account this risk percent how much do you want to risk normally I would risk one percent on the trade but it depends what you want to do if I want four percent I can do that so it automatically updates my recommended lot size but I recommend using not more than two percent if, if you are new or something especially if you are day trading you shouldn't do more than one percent one percent I think of day trading is so wide so it's even big so but just be careful so if this risk reward I, I I use it sometimes when I want to set to take profit but usually I don't use take profits uh, but sometimes I can do that so I can say okay want to usually I like one to trade then that means that is a good risk to reward for me I wouldn't mind having take profit there so now you have this so it will calculate the average uh, the recommended lot size I beg your pardon then these are our recommended lot size for the 100k account so if I change this to say 20k uh so it gives me 0 0.1 so remember the, on your lot on the lot size most uh, providers only allow for 0 point you know 0 point uh, 0 1 minimum you can't get more than two decimal for most providers but however you can be seeing twenty thousand dollars here so if you don't have up to twenty thousand dollars it doesn't mean you cannot take this trade not really I would advise if you have a small capital to have what you call a cent account, which every CM does offer. 
is an awesome way for people with low budgets to trade so and they offer good spread on those accounts so definitely try the fsm platform fxcm platform and yeah you get a cent account and that's my recommended uh, um go to for people with low budgets for to trade with so now we have let's just go back to our 100k account so that will give me 0 0.05 so what i'll do is basically i just get 0 0.05 here i go to my uh platform then i just go 0 0.05 sorry 0 0.5 0, not 0 0.05 i think that was good. let me confirm that again please you have to be very sure this is a very tricky i've made some crazy errors when it comes to this sometimes so don't be too fast take, take a time uh okay 0 0.51 yeah 0 0.51 so i just come here i get 0 0.51 i press buy so i can do this or if not i can also create a new order like this you know and just still say okay by for for the new order since i'm buying on market so i'm just buying at current price current market um we're, we're in on the position by the way this is not a real trade so i'm just using it for example purpose in terms of setting stop loss so now i go to so let me insert uh I think we should get like uh, the terminal side of this so yeah so I I'll look at the the price I got in so I got in at 1.34759 1.34759 so what I do I just go here to my entry right so I write it 1.34759 so 1.34759 so my stop loss will automatically be calculated so it's a was a buy position uh come here that's Kali. i just copy uh copy and uh yeah go to back go back to the platform and just add it here wow now i get my stop loss now this is not just the, any kind of stop loss this is now a stop loss based off the average volatility of this pair times two so that is two if this is on the daily time frame this means the last 15 days the average volatility was put into account for setting the stop loss so in terms of how the market has been moving so the, the idea of saying every trade you want to risk 50 pip every trade you want to risk 40 pip it does not really work like that so uh, it does not really work that way so you need to be very dynamic you can see volatility itself is very dynamic so your 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 stop loss and your position sizing should be dynamic also in accord in accordance to current market volatility so yeah let's see if we can get uh, the take profit so the take profit if i'm using three uh three theory squad ratio that doesn't mean that is just something I, I i do use sometimes but i do i rarely use take profits by the way so so I come here, I just copy and paste my take profit for three, one to three risk to reward. I don't mind, that's a good trade for me. So if you could get there, fine. If not, sometimes this trade might not get to this take profit. So sometimes can blast it. So yeah, so this this ideally should be how, how you should be expecting to trade. Small risk like this should be expecting this type of reward. So when you see an opportunity that gives you the, the chance to take this risk to get this this upside that's that's a good thing so this is where i set my take pro my stop loss and take profits sometimes <laughs> i like take profits but stop loss always this is why i set it but take profit rarely i use take profit but sure i want my 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 account to grow so you want to risk to i i matter of fact i do expect to get more than three uh times my my race sometimes i, I well i usually wait for those big positions those big uh, trades that, that that will give me you know those monster win they know they don't come every time but if you are patient enough you do get them from them. you do get them like the um, lira has been doing that for us so if you've seen the what happened in the lira 
apart from oil. So those type of trades that we risk very little apart to see some big potential. So we have our volatility, the ATR indicator. Use that to get your stop loss and use your stop loss to get your position size. Thank you for watching today's episode of Trading School with Joshua Fumaja. And wish you all the best in your trading. Do well to subscribe and click that bell button so that you get info or notifications whenever we publish new content or go live because we usually do go live for other shows such as the um, Traders Hangout and the Weekly Opportunity Hunt where we come every Saturday to share thoughts on what to think the next big ideas are you know, in terms of making money in different financial products. So, well done guys. Have a nice time.